All right, so we're gonna get into this right now. This is a twisted vase in Shaper 3D. It was requested by a user on Facebook, so here we go. Just gotta upload the picture of the vase so we can use it as a reference. And I like to line it up with lines just to make it easier to focus on and that way we can come back to it. The size at this point doesn't matter too much unless you need something specific. I just chose this because it's easier to work with. Uh, I'm gonna line it up with the squares, at least as much as possible anyways. And I'm also going to make it transparent so it's easier to work with. All right, what we're gonna start off by doing is doing making a square and uh, with a center line. After that, we're just gonna do a spline to make the shape because we want this as one piece. We could have made this in a different way and use different tools, but I just figured a one piece was a better alternative for this project. So if you use a spline, you can do that. And as you noticed, I went out the line there for a sec. Uh, that's not a big issue, you just have to make sure that you choose that as well when you're going to be doing the revolve tool. So I revolved it around the center line, now we have our piece, or the vase rather. And what we need to do is to cut it in half. And there are many methods that you can do the same trick with, but this is just one I prefer. I just cut half of it off right there like that. And this is any shape will do. You just basically cut it down. I delete it after because we're not going to use it again. All right, and then we're going to shell it just, just right off the bat because it's a pretty easy project for the most part because most of the details are on the outside and we're going to delete that wall since we don't need it. All right, then we're just going to mirror it so we have both edges and you'll see why later. Uh, but again, this is just a very specific trick for this specific project. You don't have to do this every time. And then we're gonna just section view that so we can see what we're doing. And we need to draw the sketch of the lines or the profile that we want to copy. And again, we go back to spline so we can make that odd shape. And while this is not an exact copy, this is just a way to show you how to do it. And then we're gonna offset that edge so that we have something to work with. And we need to also after that uh, close that sketch so that we can work with it because if you move this sketch without closing it off then you won't be able to use it what we need to do after that is just move it out so that it's in an accessible area and again it's closed off so that we can use it if it wasn't we weren't wouldn't be able to and then what we do is project this shape onto the vase, or vase, however you want to say it. And then we have that. And again, this is one of many methods, but Shaper 3D is, while very awesome, it is a limited CAD software, so we have to work with what we have. And this is the best way to do it from my perspective. So what we need to do is then subtract the pieces that we don't need, because you wouldn't be able to copy this over very easily if you didn't do what I'm about to do. And we just smooth those edges out to make it a circular shape. And again, you want to 
select uh, mirror again. So we have two shapes. So we have this specific one that we need to subtract from this. And you select the outer line that you're gonna keep. And then you select the inner piece, which we're gonna subtract from. And there we go. We just have that one little piece that we need. And the other piece that we're gonna mirror once more. Since Shaper doesn't have specific tools that let us do this, we kind of have to do it manually, but it's still, uh, it doesn't take too long if you do it the right way. And what we're gonna do here is just copy it uh, so that we have multiple pieces. And after that, I revolve it even, uh, not revolve it, but just copy it over around the circle so that we have multiple of them. So I'm gonna make six right now, and then I'm gonna just copy and paste. And I'm moving this every 10 degrees just because this is how it looks right. And as you can see, there are, there are some hardware complications so using an iPad instead of a computer. Uh, some things are done slower, especially complicated shapes like this. Um, Shaper, I wouldn't blame Shaper too much and I wouldn't blame iPad too much. They're both really nice and really good, but there are limitations. So. Uh, tough projects uh, you know lots of details it's gonna take time all right and then we just rotate that 60 degrees because we had six before that and then 120 then 180 and so on Basically all that's left right now is to union, which is to connect all the pieces. However, I did get stuck in the loading screen for a while, so I decided since this is just a tutorial, I'm not gonna do that. I went ahead and skipped forward just to show you some of the pictures. All right, so our project is done. Uh, like I said, you do, you do need to union this to make sure that everything works uh, as an SDL or whatever file you need. But here is the finished project. This is how you get started. Uh, there's many ways to do this. This is one that I came up with but I hope you learned something from it and you know, good luck. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like this video. Uh, I will be making more tutorials in the future and I will keep improving as they keep going. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.